So you've probably seen some guitar videos online where the tab's moving along in perfect sync with a person playing. Today I'm going to show you how to do this using completely free software, which can be used alongside whatever editing program you like to use. I'll go through the whole workflow for making one of these videos. Today I'm going to be using my own track, Winter, which I've just released under the pseudonym Newman Williams. It's a nice simple guitar part, and I don't need to worry about copyright issues as it's my own song. And if you like the song, you can find it in Spotify, and I'd really appreciate it if you gave me a follow there. So the main program we're going to be using is MuseScore. MuseScore is a completely free, open source program that lets you create scores and guitar tabs. It also plays back these scores as MIDI files, and it's available in both Mac and PC. The other thing we're going to need is a screen record program. Today I'm going to be using OBS Studio, which is also free and available in both Mac and PC. So first of all, once you've downloaded MuseScore and you open it up for the first time, you'll have a menu like this. First, we're just going to click on Create New Score. And then we're just going to name it. Winter uh, Newman Williams. There we go, that's all you need there. Okay, and here we want to go to Solo and then Guitar plus Tablature. Just click Continue. Choose the key signature it's in, if you know it. Um, and then, yep, yeah, number of bars. You can just leave this at 32, I think. The, this song I'm only going to do about like a 16 bar loop anyway, but you can delete them later. It doesn't really matter. And the tempo uh, for this track is 91. Now it's important that you actually find out the proper tempo because you're going to have to play along with this uh, score at some point. So if you don't have it from the beginning, you, you can change it later on if you need to. Okay, so here we have the empty score we're going to work with. Now it's just a case of inputting the notes. I'm just going to create my own score using the guitar just now, but if you wanted to, you could always just copy the tab from an existing PDF file you have if, if you're not that confident in transcribing something yet. Right, so the part goes something like this. Okay, so this part consists of 8th notes and 16th notes, so we're just going to select the 8th note um, from this menu up here, which will select the note for you, and then you can choose the note you want to fill in, in this case it's the very first one, and uh, the first note is a G, so if you just hit G on your keyboard it will, it will give you that note. Now that's not quite in the right place for me, although it is the right note, uh, I'm actually playing the 10th fret of the, the a string instead of the open G string. So if I select the note here and just click down in my keyboard, up and down in the keyboard changes the note value. So I just want to move this down till I'm on the A string. And now if I just move up to the 10th fret, I've got that there. Yep, so the next note's just a B flat in the D string this time. So if I hit B, it'll give me the note. Again, this has put it in the wrong st uh, string, so just move it down till it's in the D string, move up to A. Cool. So the next note's a 16th note, so if we select that from the menu up here, now it's a G again, so I can just click Command Copy in the first one and copy it over, and that will create a new note in the 16th this time, because that's what I had selected up there. Uh, and the one after that, again, is just a B flat. And, and then it's a B flat again, but this time, it's an eighth note again, which which had already selected. And that's actually the, pretty much the rhythm for the whole song, so I'm just going to copy that over again. And there we go. And if I play that back, you'll actually be able to hear what we've input. It does sound very much like a MIDI guitar, but that's all right. In the actual video, we're just going to be replacing that with the real guitar. Okay, so now I've got this bar down, I can actually just copy it over to the next bar, because this song's actually just four chords and the, the rhythm's the exact same throughout, so it should make this really simple. So if I just select the first note and then hold down Shift, click the next note, Command C, select the second bar and Command V, and that will copy over the first part the exact same. So there's my first chord down, but the next chords all have the same rhythm. So I'm just going to select this whole second bar in the G minor, clicking the first note, holding down Shift, clicking the last note, Command C, and then Command V. 
And now doing the same again on the tab part of it, clicking the first note, holding down shift and going to the last note. I'm just going to move this down because um, the next chord is an F, but instead of it, it's an F major, so I'm going to change these sixes to sevens. I'm just changing the notes there by using the arrow keys once I've copied them over. There we go. Again, just select the first note, hold down shift, select the last note, copy that bar and copy it over. And it's just a case of doing this throughout song as you're doing or transcribing, just inputting the notes like this. I'm just going to speed on and do the next two chords um, and then we can listen to the whole thing back. Okay, so that's the whole chord progression done now, so we'll just have a wee listen, see how that sounds. Nice, cool. So I'm just going to actually duplicate this whole section, copy it over, just so I have the records, the, the chords repeating twice round. Uh, I'm not going to do the whole song for this tutorial, so I'll just either play this regression back once or twice. Okay, so now we've inputted the guitar tab into MuseScore. Now we just need to record ourselves playing the guitar part. Okay, so I've really quickly set up the camera and the mic just to record this guitar part. It's important that you leave a wee bit of space below your guitar so you can have the tab run along with your playing. And that's where we're going to put the Muse Score file after we've recorded this part. Another thing is I've just got a drum loop playing in these headphones which I'm going to play along to. Because as I said at the beginning, it's important that you play in sync to the tempo of the actual track. So I've got a drum loop at 91 BPM playing along. Uh, so I'll stick the headphones on when I play the part. You could, alternatively, you could just have it playing through your speakers and you could plug your guitar in straight into your computer or audio interface and that way you wouldn't need to use any headphones. But for quickness, I'm just going to use headphones. So, we'll just go for it now. That should do it. I've got the part recorded. Now I just need to import the footage into my computer, drag that into Premiere, and then we're going to screen record our Muse score file and put them both together. Okay, so I've imported the footage of the guitar recording into Premiere. Now it's just a case of recording the Muse score part and we're going to put them both together. So to record the Muse score part, I'm going to open up OBS, which is just a screen recording software. It's already recording, so I can actually capture what I'm doing in the screen at the moment. Once you've set it up, you just click start recording and then that will be set up to record your screen. So we're going to go back over to Muse score, where we've got our program. And now I'm going to just change the view size to about 150%, something that just about fits the line of music to about the whole page of my computer. Maybe we can get away with a bit more, 160. Yeah, that will do. Yeah, so now we've got it set up. All we need to do is play through the Muse score file and OBS will record the tab moving along. You don't need to worry about any of the external stuff like up here because what we're going to do in Premiere, we're just going to cut out all of that so it just focuses the one line of tab at a time. So move your mouse like right out the way and just click spacebar to play and just let it play through the whole thing. And as I said, you don't need to worry about any of the external parts um, of the program, like up the top with all the menus, because we're going we're gonna to crop that all out in Premiere.
Cool, so that's it recorded. Now all we need to do is stop it, go back to OBS and you'd click stop recording and that will save that file, save the, the MIDI file as we need it. So I'm just gonna hit that now. Yeah, so now we've recorded that um, and we've closed down OBS. If we just go to wherever we save the files, in my case, it's in a folder called Movies. Open it up. And there I have the screen recording of Winter. Now I'm just gonna drag this into my Premiere Pro project. Okay, so now we've got our OBS screen record in with Premiere Pro. I'm just gonna move the cursor and try and find where the beginning of the Muse score playback is. Um, good bit before that. Just about here, and I'm just gonna cut that. Move that, and that should be about the close to the length of our actual recording. Yeah, there we go, it is. Um, don't need the rest of this, so just cut that away as well. Okay, so now we've got them roughly in sync. Normally what I'd do at this point is I'd zoom right into the screen record audio file and, and look at that to match them both up. but. Because of the way I've had to do this when I'm actually recording this tutorial, I wasn't able to actually capture the sound from MuseScore. So another way to do this is if I just move to the beginning, scrub along the MuseScore file until, just using the arrow keys, until this blue line appears. Now this blue line means I've hit play, so I'm just gonna cut from here. Cut away all that I don't need and then if I zoom in, now I can see the waveform of the guitar part. I just want to match that to the beginning of that. Right there. Have a wee listen, see if that's in sync. Yeah, that's that's perfect. Okay, so now we've got the guitar part and the Muse score part in sync. So the next thing I want to do is I want to go in and position the tab to sit below the video of me playing guitar. So if I move over to the editing tab, and if I just go to the position of the guitar uh, tab, I'm just gonna move that down. Cool, and then I'm also gonna scale it up a bit so the tab's about the same size as the screen. That looks pretty good. Now, if I go to effects, I just search for crop, crop, and we're gonna drag that on below. Now, all I need to do is just crop out all the parts that I don't need. So crop from the top, that looks pretty good. Now, if I play along, you'll see me and the tab playing at the same time. That's looking pretty good already. I'm quite happy with the size of the tab, but it's cutting out a wee bit of the guitar. So I'm just gonna move to the effects control selection of the video, the playback of me playing, and I'm just gonna, whoop, wrong position. I'm just gonna position myself up just a wee bit, like that, yeah, that's good. Cool, so. We've got the first part. That's perfect. But when it gets to the second line, your crop and your positioning is going to be off. So we actually want to make a cut for each new line, essentially, and reposition it. So just moving frame by frame, narrow keys until we get to the next part. If I just cut that here. Okay, so now I've got my cut here. Now if I go to the second line, I can reposition this part. Just position it in a wee bit, bring it down, right down to the bottom, and then just reduce the crop again. And there we go, that's the second line looking pretty good. Now if I just go back, play from the first to the second, that's cool. Um, it's maybe a bit smaller than the first, but I think that actually maybe looks a bit better so I'm just I'm just actually gonna to go to the first I'm gonna position that down some more and I'm just gonna crop away the top some more of that so it's a bit smaller. It doesn't really matter about the tempo. Uh, maybe 
maybe a bit much. It's just a case of roughly matching it. As it moves along, you won't notice too much of a difference in the, in the size between the two lines. Yep, cool, that's good. So you just need to do the same for each line. Go to the end of the line, cut it there, and just recrop it and reposition it so it matches. And that's all there is to it. So I'm just gonna fast forward the video here as I work through the rest. There you go, and if you see that last section actually just worked perfectly, just the way the screen records captured it, so I didn't actually need to crop it or reposition it at all. Um, yeah, and that, that's all there is to it. Now if we play that back, we've got the tab moving perfectly in sync with me playing. I'm just gonna go in, tidy it up a wee bit more so that the tab's about the same size for each part of the video, and then I'll just show you the finished thing. So that's all there is to it. That's how you make guitar videos with the tab moving along perfectly in sync to your playing. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, it'd be brilliant if you subscribed to my channel and gave me a follow on Spotify too. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.